so we are at this uh, place called as uh, Hill Park. So it's a drive-in. A lot of uh, bikers and a lot of people come here. This is uh, the first decent uh, breakfast ride from the city. So and, uh, we are off to uh, a place called as uh, Sonasila. So the bike is all ready. Bike is ready. Yes. everyone and this is butterfly killer and today we are on a right to a place called as uh, Somasilla. Somasilla is somewhere around 130 kilometers from Hyderabad and it is a uh, actually the backwaters of river Krishna and that's the place where uh, it enters the Nallamala forest and basically Krishna is uh, one of the prominent rivers of uh, the South India and uh, it starts at somewhere at uh, Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra and uh, it crisscrosses four different states uh, from Maharashtra to Karnataka to Telangana to Andhra Pradesh and uh, you should check out the Google Maps and it's a really beautiful uh, way the Krishna river uh, keeps moving through all these states even though the Mahabaleshwar uh, is uh, quite close to the coast. Uh, it crisscrosses all the way and comes to uh, and meets in Bay of Bengal. So as of now it's summer and I don't think there will be a lot of uh, water. But uh, as it is a continuously flowing river I think there should be water. So this is the place where the state is exactly divided. And even the river is divided into two halves. So that side of the shore is Andhra Pradesh and this side of the shore is uh, Telangana. Compared to the other rivers which uh, we have explored in the last couple of vlogs, uh, one is Godavari which uh, ha after the diversion to the Kaleshwaram Dam has dried up. If you go towards uh, Varangal and Karimnagar, uh, if you can, che you can check out that. You can see the go where even on the Google Maps you can see that the Gora Godavari river where it enters in Andhra Pradesh is completely dried up. So hopefully there is uh, good water. And uh, I saw a couple of pics of uh, Somashila and uh, the water actually comes and you know it's it's near the near to your room or near to your cottage. So I think you can see we have with us some new stickers and uh, also we are uh, in the group right now we have two BMW GS310 and uh, one Bonneville T120 and a Trident uh, 660. So as you can see safe soil uh, stickers I put on my bike basically uh, safe soil is a movement which is uh, happening everywhere. It's a global movement towards bringing awareness to the importance of soil. So this movement is happening all over the world and it is headed by a prominent spiritual leader called as uh, Sadhguru uh, and uh, is a world renowned uh, influencer and a spiritual guru. So safe soil is basically about saving the top three to eight inches of topsoil which is very crucial for us to grow any kind of uh, vegetation or uh, any kind of farm farming purpose. Generally what you see on the highways on the when you see on the sides there are farmlands you see greenery but that's that's not like real nature or you know like those are just food on your table so you can see the vast uh, farmlands which are helping us humans to feed ourselves. So there are uh, either layouts or uh, a few farmlands here and there but a lot of uh, big trees are missing. So from the past uh, 60 to 70 years of green revolution we have completely used up the topsoil and we are not renewing it and so it doesn't have the capacity to hold water or the nutrition and uh, due to single layer or uh, 
single layer uh, crops continuously rotated over the years again and again there is a, a serious decline of topsoil. So topsoil is quite important. The organic content of the land it's very important that the, the top soil is taken care of. Without top soil, there's no food. And eventually it will lead to food wars and civil wars. There could be a food crisis as well. And it is estimated uh, by 2050, soil could be extinct. So if you don't do the right things. So let's see what we can do. Let's spread the word and uh, do what we can to save soil. So as of now, uh, we are uh, on our way to Somashila. Just keep watching. So there are several ways to approach Somashila, but uh, we took a longer route uh, and this is a little more scenic. So we are uh, right now, you can see this is uh, a part of uh, Krishna River. And uh, it's really nice. So there's a small, uh, uh, like, lake sort of thing, but it is a part of Krishna River and uh, quite green around here. Boys are around. So we just stop here for some refreshment. So a lot of uh, people had asked me before, it's amazing that uh, Sadhguru is riding 30,000 kilometers crisscrossing through various uh, countries all over the world or from London to um, uh, India. So how can he riding a bike, you know, like uh, address the issue of soil? So basically uh, somewhere in 2010 there was a uh, something called as Rally for Rivers. Uh, Rally for Rivers uh, was a huge campaign, it was a huge success where uh, people had uh, done various uh, efforts to revitalize uh, the river called this uh, Kaveri. So there was a draft policy, uh, river revitalization draft policy which was uh, drafted and submitted to the government of India. In further, the government of India took it up and uh, it needed the national river revitalization policy of India. So that is the effect uh, democracy can have. That is the effect people can have on uh, and on governments. And to take up uh, correct action, uh, to take up uh, various uh, policies. So in the similar fashion, uh, a, a person riding a bike. For such a long time and especially Sadhguru at his age and uh, being a, a, you know like I don't have words to uh, tell but uh, it does uh, turn heads and uh, and when it does uh, talking to various people various governments various uh, people who are in charge of uh, different lands agriculture ministers of uh, different different countries so there's a common uh, not a, uh, uh, depending on on the area and the terrain different uh, policies or a common draft policy or uh, something like that will be recommended uh, to save the top uh, soil so that uh, we can keep it for the future generation keep the soil intact for the kids yet to come and for our own kids as well. So different places need uh, different policy changes, but this is to highlight the importance of uh, topsoil and saving the soil and to live for a long time and we can see the amount of, uh, you know, the, the, let it be the tractor or animals for us to graze, everything, everything. We are just utilizing the nature, utilizing the soil. So it's uh, very important that you give back what you take and take care of the soil and what the mother earth can give you.
can see that temple like I was seeing it from quite some time. It's so huge man, so big. I think we should check it out. Guys, can you can you listen to me? So we just uh, stumbled at this hidden treasure called as uh, Madana Gopal Swami Temple. It's a 800 year old temple. And uh, it has some connection with uh, the Jatayu bird. Apparently when he had a fight with Ravana, this was a place he had fallen here. So, I don't think we can, but this is a hidden treasure. We found this luckily. Beautiful, so huge. I'm gonna go inside the temple though. It's all stone. Oh my god, it's so nice. Look at the door. Oh, Basically, this temple was uh, two kilometers away from this place and uh, a couple of years back. You can see uh, every pillar is numbered. All of the parts, all of the different parts of the structure were carried from two kilometers away and got here. And it was reconstructed all over again. But Done a marvelous job. The temple is uh, maintained a little bit. It's not left to ruins. A little bit of greenery and everything is quite nice. Very peaceful, very good for photo shoots. So this is uh, so much Shila for you and uh, so this river goes all the way through Sri Salem and it goes further to uh, Andhra Pradesh through the mountains here through the 
Alamala Forest and we are staying at uh, the Harita uh, College, the Wharf, Harita Resorts, leased out to the Harita Resorts and uh, quite hot and sunny. The water generally comes all the way till, till this place, till your room or where you stay. Quite nice. So we are uh, going to head back in a little while. Just like last time, uh, we took the room, we are chilling here and uh, we head back in a little while. Time for the sun to set. So that's the cottage we are staying at. Generally everything is full of water. Summer boys are busy clicking. So if you take a boat here, you directly end up in Karnul. So that's pretty cool.